The first Christmas didn't just happen by accident. It happened for a reason. And to understand that reason, we need to go back a long, long way. The Bible tells us that in the beginning, everything in the world was very good. God made people to be friends with him and with each other. He put them in a beautiful garden with everything they needed. Sadly, things went wrong. The first people, Adam and Eve, decided they wanted to run their lives their own way, not God's way. They had to leave their garden paradise and soon God seemed far away and the world was broken without God. But God still loved everybody and was very sad about what had happened. He decided to do something about it and chose a man called Abraham. God promised Abraham that through his children he would help to fix the world. Over many years, Abraham's descendants became the Jewish people and lived in Israel, the land that God had given them. Time passed. God's people kept getting into trouble, but God always rescued them. He sent messengers to remind them who he was and to guide them back to him. In order to protect and lead his people, God gave them kings. The greatest and best of those kings was David from a place called Bethlehem. In time, people built a big temple where they could be closer to God. But despite the messengers, the kings and the temple, God still seemed far away. God made many promises to his people that one day a special king would come who would bring God and people back together again. The Jewish people kept waiting for a child to be born who would be the promised king. Finally, 2,000 years ago, things began to happen. The first thing that happened was that an angel appeared to an old man called Zechariah who served in the temple. The angel told him that after a lifetime of waiting, his wife Elizabeth would have a baby son. This boy would be someone special. He would be filled with God's Holy Spirit and would prepare the way for God's King. The baby was to be called John. Later in the Bible, we read how John made people ready for God's King by baptising them in water as a sign that their sins had been washed away and their lives were clean. But the really important thing was what happened at almost the same time in a town called Nazareth. 